Well, hello, happy Tuesday. It's time for this week's video. Get ready. Well, this is just going to be pretty much a thank you video. Um, I, I want to thank um, two gentlemen. They're both father and son. I've, I spoke to them both yesterday at different times each. And um, they were very encouraging. Uh, they've been listening to us for about, well, the son's been listening to us for about three years. And the father, I think, started listening to us a little over a year ago, um, maybe longer. And so, you know, they have really been very encouraging. They, they occasionally uh, write in questions to us in emails. And, um, and if you listen to the PowerCast, you know uh, our slogan is, uh, questions are the lifeblood of the gospel revolution. And um, talking to the dad, he, he's a little newer into the gospel, and he's like, you know what, Jeff? Um, it's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, but um, he's, he's happy. He's very thankful for the gospel, but the gospel has had an effect on him. And, um, and because of that, it's been, he says, sometimes a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. And I explained to him that, um, you know, when you, un when you come to understand the basics of this gospel, it's undeniable. However, that doesn't mean it has, because the gospel has a way of undoing, unraveling any, anything you were taught prior to it, um, in traditional Christianity and sometimes so there's some leftover doctrines that still haven't been unraveled for you in your thinking and I call them booby traps because most of the time you don't even know they're there or they're still there and so you run into these things where it's like well how does this fit now because I know how we were taught and I call it a booby trap because it can be frustrating at times and, uh, but, um, I've found that, you know, I've gotten through a lot of these and, um, uh, Mike was good friends with John Osteen, Joel Osteen's father. And John Osteen had an expression where he said, just, I just put things on a shelf when I run into stuff like that. And that's, that's really, you know, a sensible thing to do. If something doesn't make sense to you. You can kind of put it on a shelf. You know it's there, but um, it may come to you what the what your resolution is to that at some time later. Otherwise, you can write us and ask questions because questions are the lifeblood of the gospel revolution. You can call into our voicemail on the PowerCast. You can um, message us through Facebook. A lot of you are on Facebook, and. Uh, not only will we help you with your question, it may help a lot of other people if we help you publicly. Uh, a lot of times when you email us um, or talk to us on the phone, we're not going to make that public, of course. But um, unless it's a very general question. But if, it's per if there's something personal about it to you, then no, we're not going to do that, of course. Um, but I just want to tell you that I was very encouraged by talking to both of, both of these guys yesterday. And the son, he mentioned the fact that, you know, where we come, where we come from in, in churches, you weren't able to ask questions. People, the, the church leadership just didn't allow for questioning. And if you questioned, you were a troublemaker. And so he was telling me that, it's a, it's a, I, I, we, I just wasn't used to asking questions. And so I want to encourage you guys out there. If you've got questions, ask away. Email, telephone. Uh, our number is on the website. It's 321-220-4373. And, you, and let us know what your questions are. And if it's personal to you, then, of course, we won't share that answer publicly. But... Um, let us know if it's a question for the PowerCast, if, if you just have a general email question. Um, uh, we love to hear from you. And again, thank you for all of your support. 
It's revolutionary and keep having a revolutionary week.